Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today I've got a pretty big haul for you guys. I'm just going to show you everything that I've been buying over the last couple of months. Um, I still actually have a couple things on the way. I have two different packages from Born Pretty Store on the way. Um, I've got a couple more things too, a couple more small things, but I figured I would just get all this stuff done now and then show you the Born Pretty Store stuff later when it comes in by itself, okay? So I'm going to start with one Born Pretty Store package that I already got. Um, I ordered these little teeny rhinestones, and these are actually really small. They're only 1.5 millimeter rhinestones. And they're just all different colors, as you can see. It starts up here with like a like a goldish and then just regular silver, um, orange, black, pink, uh, more of like a violet purple and then more of like a fuchsia-y kind of, like lavender-y purple. And then like a lime green, um, yellow, like more of an emerald green, baby blue, and red. And like I said, these are really small. They're 1.5 millimeter. I'm not sure how many is in here, but that's more than enough for me. And then I also grabbed just these plain gold and silver studs, and I believe they are, the bigger ones are 3 millimeter, and the smaller ones are 2 millimeter. I also got this really cute stamping plate. Um, it is from uh, Born Pretty Store, but it's not a Born Pretty plate. It's Q Girl 060. As you can see, it's just really cute, and it's Snoopy and Woodstock, and my mom just absolutely loves, you know, all the peanuts and Snoopy in particular, so I had to grab this just so I could do her nails in a cute little Charlie Brown themed Manny, and it's got the cute little French Bulldog at the top too. Oh, well, you guys can see that. Let's see if I can focus you a little bit better. There we go. So we've got the cute little French Bulldog up here as well and all their little eyeballs in the middle I just thought were so, so cute. And I grabbed a couple just little tiny pots of glitter. They're only a few cents, like 30, 40, 50 cents, something like that. So I just got a uh, greenish color and silver just because I've got um, a lot of glitters, but um, I figured I would try these, you know, I was spending a gift card when I got these things, a $10 gift card. So I was trying to get as close to that $10 mark as I could just so I could use my gift card. And then I also wanted to try some of their new vinyls. Um, they're holographic, as you can see. And from what I understand, you can use these, you know, like we normally would use, um, like a vinyl stencil, to where you put it on, paint over it, and peel it off. Or you can actually put these on your nails, you know, cut them to shape, and actually leave them on there. And they're really cute and holographic, as you can see. I only got one sheet for now just to try them out, because normally I get these types of things from What's Up Nails. But I figured I would at least try out the Born Pretty Store ones, uh, more for you guys, just so you guys could see um, how they work and how they compare to a more well-known, popular brand. And speaking of What's Up Nail Vinyls, I also placed an order with them. And I love every time I order from them, she sends um, one of these cute little papers and she always um, hand writes thank you which I love that I feel like it gives that extra little personal touch and it shows I, I just love the indie brands that that personal touch and I love feeling like I'm supporting someone that's um, I guess you know like living their dream working their dream really working hard you know to make a good product and for us to support that I just think it's great to keep as many of these indie brands in business as possible so I love that um, she adds this cute little touch it's very personal it's not something printed out and generic you know and it does have on the back little tips and tricks just in case you guys need them and typically I go over these when I review the product so I will do that later okay when I'm actually like reviewing them and the ones that I got were, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but I got the little swirls. I don't know if I can, I'm going to try to tilt it in a way that you guys will be able to see it in the light. Let's see if right there will do it. Can you see that? They are the small swirl vinyls. And two come in each little square. And down here they're actually smaller. I'm trying to get it where you guys can, can you see where it's like a little half, you know what? I'm going to see if I can peel one of these little squares off so you guys can actually see it. Let's see if it'll actually leave the vinyl stuck to the paper. Uh, 
Oh, I got one off. Oh, I got one off. That's good enough. So that's what they look like. And they're smaller down here, and then the ones up here are quite a bit bigger. Just to where they'll actually fit, you know, no matter what size your nails are, they will fit. See, super duper cute, and I'm excited to use these, and I might even use these um, in combination with the Born Pretty Store ones, but I'm not sure. We will see about that. I'm just going to stick this on the back here, get rid of that for now. And she always sends a little gift, which I think is so cute. She Every time I order from her, she always sends um, one of these little... Just, you know, two little vinyls off of a different sheet that she just thinks that you'll like. And I just think that's really, really cute. And this is, I think it's like a, a drag water marble or something. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But kind of just looks like the water marble where you drag back and forth in the water. Super cute. She gave me two of those, as you can see. Just as a gift, just to be nice. Which is another thing I love about indie brands. Big companies will not do that. So, and I also ordered a Pure Color 7 Nail Art Brush, which is actually a water marble tool. And it came wrapped up like this. I should have peeled it out of the paper first. I'm really sorry about this horrible noise. Ah, okay. Try to get it out as quietly as possible. So this is the little tool. It's about the size of, um, by itself, it's about the size of a pen, just a ballpoint pen. And it's very, very pointy. And I can't get it to focus on the needle itself. There we go. So as you can see, it just comes to a point. It's literally, it's it's not as sharp as a needle, but it's um, sharper than the smallest dotting tool that I have. So I'm excited to use this because you guys know I do like water marbling. And it's got the little lid like I showed. And right here, it's actually like little rubber band grippy thingies. And she sent um, like a little a little baggie of them extra. So I guess maybe they might pop off sometimes or get worn out or something. But she sent a little baggie of extra ones for this, I guess. I'm assuming that's what it's for. And I also have placed a couple of orders um, to Uber Chic in the last month and a half or so. Because she's come out with some new plates. So I did order the Love and Marriage. This is Love and Marriage 02. I got it um, the day after, two days after Valentine's Day. And as you can see, I have used it. Super duper cute. Beautiful plate. And I will review all of the Uber Chic plates in more, more in depth in a separate video where you guys can actually see them. And then, of course, I ordered um, set 7, which is... Where's plate 1? There it is. This is plate 1 of set 7. Beautiful plate. And plate two of set seven. Just gorgeous. I haven't used this one yet. And plate three of set seven, which I think is my favorite plate in the set. And I think I feel like I say this every time she comes out with a new set, but I feel like this is my favorite set so far. I know I've said that a couple times, but she just keeps up in her game and really makes some gorgeous, gorgeous plates. So, oh, and I'm really excited, guys. I ordered some of those new Mo Moira plates, M-O-Y-R-A, Moira. I got two of them on the way from a company that I cannot say their name, and I'm really, really excited to show you. I also got um, from Uber Chic the Sports Fan 01, and this has been out for a while, and I just, I liked it and just, you know, was more interested or, you know, just only had so much money to spend. So I um, always budgeted and got the plates that I really, really, really wanted. But I've really wanted this one for a while. I just think it's really, really cute, very unique and different. And I live in Baltimore. So I, of course, am a Baltimore Ravens fan. This image right here, in my opinion, I don't know this to be fact, but in my opinion, that's Ray Lewis. That is something that Ray Lewis does. He's the only football player I have ever seen do that. And in my opinion, that's him. So I just, I knew I had to buy this plate just for that one image in itself. And then I also ordered the Yay Spring Plate, which I am so, so, so excited about. And I haven't used it yet. I just got this the other day. I cannot wait to use it for some cute little Easter mayonnaise. Very, very cute. And I do want to show you guys something. I don't know if you are on her mailing list or not. If you're a big fan of Uber Chic and you are signed up to get her newsletters, then you would have gotten this message. But right here, 
Okay, the girl who runs Ubershake, her name is Brittany, and Brittany is dyslexic. So whenever Brittany makes plates that have words on them, she runs them past her mother, maybe a couple other family members to spell check them, and this was spell checked, and they all missed it. This does not say yay spring. It says yay S-R-P-I-N-G instead of S-P-R-I-N-G, and I don't know if every single plate is like this. Um, they are discounted, only $13.99. I don't care that this is like this. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm actually excited. I feel like... Um, you know, like this is not one of a kind, obviously, but I feel like it's more special because it's got that little mistake on it and all her plates are always so, so perfect. So if you think about ordering this plate, do be aware this may be on every single plate. I don't know when the new batch comes into play and when this, like, um, how many plates she had made before this got caught. So do be aware this does not say yay spring. It says yay Serping. So, um, and she sent out a big newsletter and apologized. Everybody was really funny and nice about it. So, I do want to let you guys be aware of that just in case you decide to buy it just because you saw it on my channel. I also got, oh, sorry guys, I also got um, the Queen, what is this called? The Love Box stamping set. And this is the first one, not the second one. I actually went on Amazon. I always order my Queen stuff from Amazon. I don't know why I don't order directly from Queen. I feel like the shipping is cheaper from Amazon, and that's why I do it that way. And it comes in, like, a day, which I love. Um, I actually went on there to look at the second set because I like these, but I never loved them enough to order them. And then when I went on there, I was looking at these, and I ended up loving these even more. So I just ordered the first one, and it comes in this cute little box like this. And it comes with a stamper and four different stamping plates. Got it. So this is how it comes now that I've finally gotten it out of its package. It's as if they didn't want me to actually have it. it comes like this with their um, new marshmallow stamper. And it looks and feels just like the old one except for it's got more of a marshmallow head. Um, like the new like jelly marshmallow ones opposed to the traditional uh, squishy firm heads. And it comes with one of the plates in the front here. And then when you remove this little plate behind that, you see the Queen scraper card, which I, oh, there's two. I didn't realize that. I don't know how to get to the other one, but there's two in there. Um, these were, this was my favorite scraper for the longest time. The only thing I don't like about this is it's not acetone resistant. So once you swipe it once or twice with acetone, this part starts wearing off, which sucks. But there it is. And if I can get this out, I will show it to you. And like I said, it is like the new, um, the newer jelly marshmallow heads. It feels a little squishier than the old one. I haven't tried it yet though, so I don't know how well it stamps, but I will review this box in a separate video and I will demo it and let you guys know how it stamps, okay? And it looks like the second scraper is kind of like trapped inside of there. I don't think it feels any different though. I didn't realize that it came with two until now, but yeah, it comes with two and they both feel the same. And then all the rest of the plates come in these cute little sleeves. So this is the mm, Geo one, I think. Um, yes, this is the Geo Lover 01. And like I said, they all come in these little sleeves. The only thing that I don't like is this right here. The sleeves are not closed all the way. Like they're not, uh, like the Million London ones and the Born Pretty ones, it's a sleeve that's completely closed. This isn't, and it's like it wasn't glued properly because it's sticky there. It just didn't stick, and they're all like that, and it drives me nuts. But oh well. So this is Queen Geo Lover 01, and they all come. This is a hard plastic backing. This is not a sticker. And they all come with the blue film on the front where the images are, and on the back, there is also a clear film. Very pretty images, and they seem pretty long. I mean, my nails are pretty short right now, but they're pretty, pretty nice size images, I would say. And I'll give you guys measurements and all that kind of stuff in the other video. And this is Queen Fancy Lover 01. Beautiful lacy style images. Lots of them. Gorgeous. This one reminds me of like a water marble lace. I think it's cool. Like water marble and lace combined. <laughs> like if you could water marble a lace image. This is Fairy Tale Lover 01. I love this one. I love the little hearts. Gorgeous. I love this right here. More like lacy style images down here. And last but not least, if I can get it out, 
I swear, these things are like super glued in there. This is Nature Lover 01, and I love Nature Lover 02 in the next box too. I almost bought it too, but I was spending a lot of money, so I figured I would wait. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plates. Super duper cute. I love these like cutesy clouds and stuff. Um, they did an image similar to this cloud image in one of their sets with the circular plates. And I really, really liked it, but it was so small I didn't think it would fit my nails, so I didn't get it. But I'm excited because now they've got something similar here. So this is the spring slash Valentine set, and it did come in the little baggy like they usually come in and it came with 10 of these little square plates like the other ones do like the Shangri-La and all the other ones that came thereafter so here's one this is two uh BM 230 I think this is actually the last plate in the set I'm going backwards but and then this one is 229 and these ones have um I don't know why they call it a spring slash Valentine's Day set because the last like four or five plates, the last three plates in the set are um, Chinese New Year themed. That has absolutely nothing to do with spring in my opinion. Um, I don't live in China. I, I, people around me don't celebrate Chinese New Year, I don't think. So, I mean, I mean, there's still pretty images, but it's just something that um, I was surprised to see. But I still wanted the set, so I got them. This is 227, absolutely gorgeous. This one has more of that like springy feel to it. Big infinity image, buffet style image, whatever you like to call it. 226, another springy buffet style plate. Beautiful florals in there. And I'll do a review on all this too. 225, and the first five are basically all Valentine's Day themed. Lots of little hearts. I feel like this will be great for the clear jelly stampers. 224. And 223. I think this is super duper cute. I love this image right here. I, I want to say this is from the Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Um, I might be wrong though. If you guys know, it, it's the very, it, it's in the movie. The guy wears a trench coat. He stands out on the lawn and he holds up the uh, the boom box. If you guys know if it is the Breakfast Club or what movie it's from, um, comment down below and let me know because I... I just thought it was really cute. I'm not 100% that that's what movie it's from, but this plate is really cute as a whole. I like it a lot. And then I got 222. And I was very perturbed because I actually ordered these on February 2nd. I thought I would have them in more than enough time for Valentine's Day. Bundle Monster products usually get to me in three or four days. And I even paid double shipping just so I could guarantee to have it. And it took almost two weeks exactly. I got these the day after Valentine's Day, so I was a little peeved about that, especially being that I paid double the shipping for them. But, oh well. My post office sucks. It's not Bundle Monster's fault. It's just the post office fault, but I will never pay extra for fast shipping again. And also with that same order, I grabbed BMXL, BMXL 12. Also, very cute Valentine's-y themed. I placed two separate orders at two separate times. So this was in the first order. And then I got um, from the Work It Collection, BMXL179. The Cheerocracy plate, super duper cute. I was more than anything interested in these numbers. Um, when it came to do New Year's Eve manis, I was so bummed I didn't have any plates with numbers, so I couldn't write 2016 on my nails. I had to handwrite it, I couldn't stamp it. So I definitely had to have this plate, not to mention I was a cheerleader for years, and my niece is cheerleading now, and I'm hoping my daughter gets into it soon. So definitely had to have this plate. And I also have been wanting this one for a long time. This is the Bundle Monster Plus Nail Stamp for Fun in the Blogger Collab Collection. This is Nail Stamp for Fun's plate, BMXL206. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous lacy images all over this plate. I adore it. I've been wanting it for so long. They were out of it. They finally had it, so I got it. And I grabbed another set of their stamping polishes. This is... There you go, the Star Slinger Collection. They call it their master set because you get all six of them. And they are all creams. 
And then their polishes are great because they double as stamping polishes and regular polishes. So if you're a stickler for matching, these are great for you. This first one is more of a fuchsia-y pink. Absolutely gorgeous cream, and it's actually got a hint of gold shimmer in it. I don't know if that will translate in the stamping or to the nail for that matter, but you can see it in the bottle. I don't see it on the brush at all, though, so I doubt that it's going to transfer. But this first pink is called Psychedelic Stereo. And then we've got more of an orangey shade of pink. There they are in comparison, just so you guys can see the difference there. And this one is called Quasar. Then we've also got this gorgeous, bright, sunshiny yellow, very lemony, very, very bright. I don't know how opaque they are, but I will let you know after I test them. This one's called, I think it's called e Etronica. I don't know these terms. These are words I don't know, so you guys can read them. And then the green in the set is super duper bright, and I'm not a huge green fan, but I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one's called Opus. Opus one? Oh, I don't know. I don't know these spacey terms, you guys, so they'll make fun. Then the blue in the set, a beautiful cobalt blue, is called Cosmic Latte. And last but certainly not least is the purple in the set. And this one is more of a plummy purple, but... I feel like it's not as neon-y, but it's still absolutely beautiful. And this one is Lunar Lines. That one I do know. Beautiful. So that's all of the things that I got from Bundle Monster. So these are all the things that I got from Parrot Polish. And this is my very first order from them. She sent me this really, really sweet little handwritten note. Once again, I love the handwritten sentiments. I just think they are just so precious. You're welcome to read it if you like. And thank you, David and Sonia. Thank you guys so much for sending me this. I actually ordered just the polish, and they were so sweet. They sent me one of their little heart-shaped soaps, which I'm assuming are handmade. It looks handmade and smells amazing from what I can smell through the packaging. And they also sent me, which I'm really excited about, one of their Manny Bombs. And this is the Black Raspberry Vanilla Manny Bomb. Focus it a little bit for you. And I believe those are all the ingredients right there. And basically you just um, fill up a small tub with, you know, for your hands, with some hot, you know, warmish water and pour some of this in there and it fuzzes up and goes, you know, like carbonation-y looking. And you soak your hands in it and it's just great for your skin and your cuticles. And I'm super excited. And this smells so freaking amazing, you guys. I hadn't even opened the package yet, and I could smell this. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, all they ordered was polish. Did they really scent their polish that strongly? Like, what's that smell? It smells so good. And I pulled this out and was super psyched to get this. And this is the polish that I got. I've really been looking for a good um, duochrome or multi-chrome polish. But most of them are, like, ugly to me. Most of them are, like, gold, do a green shift, and they just look pukey and I don't like them. I saw this swatched by somebody on Instagram and literally ran straight to Parrot Polish and bought this. I don't know how well you guys can see the shift. Let me see if I can focus it for you. If that'll help. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it shifts from pink to blue to purple and it is just so freaking gorgeous. You guys don't even know. Um, you can see it on camera a little bit, but it's totally not doing it justice on camera as beautiful as this polish is in person. I am so impressed with how gorgeous this is. I cannot wait to wear it. As soon as we get done here, I'm probably going to wear it. I cannot pronounce the name, however, so there it is for you guys. In case you want to go check them out, I will, of course, link them down below, as well as all of the other websites that um, I got my things from. You can kind of see on the bottom here where it kind of shifts from blue to purple and it goes uh, blue I see blue and purple and pink and gold and it literally shifts to like all of the colors and it is just so gorgeous and I cannot wait to wear it let me see if you can see it a little bit on the it's just such a gorgeous 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 polish and I love it and I cannot wait to play with it because it's so pretty 
So thank you guys so, 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 so much over at Parrot Polish. Here is their business card in case you guys need to contact them other than the link that I leave down below. There's all of their little sites and stuff. And last and very, very, very certainly not least, I also have a package. Do you guys recognize this? What do you guys think's in here? This is one of my favorite places to order from. Oh, this doesn't belong here. This is what I use to open my packages, in case you guys don't recognize it. It's um, a cuticle pusher. I use the sharp end of my cuticle pusher to open my packages. So that's what I use. This is from Munadonias. Like I said, one of my favorite places to order from. I love, love, love her. I love her stamping polishes. I don't care if I have to pay shipping out the yin yang and get it two months later all the way from Mexico. I don't care. It makes me happy. So I keep buying it. So I ordered two whites. Wait, that one's not white. I ordered two whites. which I've been running quite low on for a while now. I also ordered two blacks, which I've been running low on for a while now. I ordered a large size of bones, which is number 67. And Bones is just um, an off-white creamy color, absolutely gorgeous. You can see I did have a teeny bit of leakage um, here is bones compared to white right next to it so you can see it's just not stark white it's slightly off white which is perfect um there's been so many times that i've been doing my nails and needed a white that wasn't just stark bright white one that was a little off white and this is perfect for that so i got a big one and then i got four minis this one is taupe number 57 and it's gorgeous it's like a you know like a caramelly skin color I guess beautiful and this one as well had a little bit of leakage now I've placed quite a few orders with Munadunas and this is the first time I've ever 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 had any of my bottles have any leakage at all and shockingly I had three of my bottles have leakage which blows my mind but this one had a lot which sucks but it's not going to affect the polish that's inside. I've already opened them and checked. You can basically just get this off with a little bit of polish remover, a little bit of acetone, whatever you use, and it comes right off. So um, this one is Naboo, and as you can see, there's still plenty of polish in there. It only, it, it's just a couple drops, even though it looks like a lot. It's only a little tiny bit. So this is Naboo number 71, and it's a very bright, corally color. It kind of reminds me of the original Flip Flop Fantasy. It's that color family. It's not the same, but it's that color family. This one is my favorite one that I ordered, and this one is 72 Mint. It's just a beautiful minty shade of blue. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't have any stamping polish, anything like this. I'm really pumped to have that one. And I also got number 14 Violet. I've got a couple different purple stamping polishes, and they're all uh, pastel-y, very light purple. So I definitely needed a darker more Ravens, again, Baltimore Ravens, purple. So I grabbed this as well. I also have a humongous, ridiculously humongous nail polish haul sitting here next to me. I was gonna do it in this video, but this video has gone so long already. I'm gonna do this in a separate video. All right, let me see if I can scooch this in frame and then zoom you guys out so you can see what I mean. All of this box is nail polish. All of that. And um, it goes down pretty deep. Uh, there is still some packing peanuts in there, but it goes down pretty deep. So I'm going to go ahead and save this for a separate haul video because, like I said, this is just getting too long. So ugh. I will do my very best to review slash demo everything that I showed you guys here, including the Munadunyas, all the stamp stamping plates, stamping polishes, stampers, um, nail polishes, anything that I showed you here, I will do my very, very best to um, show you guys in a different, you know, separate videos to give each 
product, you know, full credit and full time. If there's any one in particular that you're more excited about that you really, really, really want to see like right now, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. And I will do my best to do them in the order that you guys are telling me, you know, I really want to see this or that or the other thing. I will do my best to review them and post them in that order. I have been having some issues posting videos. Um, the last video that I recorded from this camera posted, I got it uploaded, it hasn't posted yet, but I did upload it just fine. So I'm hoping I'm not having any more issues that it was just an internet thing. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know which um, which one or ones of these things you would like to see first because it's going to be a long, drawn-out process of reviews for a while. And yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, come back to see me next time. Bye.